Welcome to Quarantine Chronicles. I'm your host, Benita, and today we'll be delving into the world of dating. We're going to discuss men that you shouldn't be dating so that you can avoid saying things like men are trash. And instead, we can now confront the fact that no, not all men are trash, but in fact, it's your taste in men that is trash. back to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution also make sure that you turn on my post notifications so you know every single time that I post guys, I put out a poll on my Instagram and I asked you guys what sort of guys are we not dating this year why because 90s babies are not babies anymore okay the the youngest of the 90s babies 99 like myself we are attending 21 and so we need to start making better choices in relationships and in men because it's starting to get real ladies take note of these red flags men if you see yourself in these things that women don't want fix it take accountability because we are not dating men who don't know how to take accountability okay so the first one is we are not dating guys who hide their kids or don't pay maintenance for their kids and the other one says we're just not dating guys who are other people's fathers okay let's talk about those two points let's let's really have a chat about those two points because i'm so passionate about these things why 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 are gents always hiding their kids why 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 let's talk about it why are you always hiding your kids why must it be a surprise that you have a kid i feel like when you meet someone right and you want to date it needs to be one of the first things that you announce listen my name is Boo. You know, I am from Western Cape. This is what I do, this is who I am. Oh, I happen to have a five-year-old and a two-year-old. Do they have the same mom? Do they not? It's just something that I think you need to mention in the first place. But some advice that I literally tell every single person, and I believe it with all my heart, always do background checks on these gents. Always, always, always. Like on Instagram, what I've seen, and it's not like 100%, but what I've seen, when guys post kids on their Instagram, right, they don't want to cock block themselves. So what do they do? They always in the hashtags put hashtag niece, hashtag little sister, or something like that to indicate, to show that, by the way, these are mine. Like, I'm just, I'm holding them for now, but I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna give them back to who they belong to. Always do your research. Try and find out, number one, does he have a wife? Number two, does he have kids? And also, I have this genuine belief, and this is just me, okay? I know I might be bugging, but I have this genuine belief. You meet a man anywhere that is not where he's from. So like, if you meet a man in Joburg, but he's from Limpopo or he's from KZN, or if you meet a man in like, I'm in America, and I meet a man from like, SA or, or, or any other country that's not his country always make sure that he doesn't have a wife and or kids waiting for him where he's from and if he does you take that elsewhere don't bring that here personally this is me i don't think there's a relationship after that after you hide a wife and or kids there's no i'm sorry at least now you know let's be together it's curtains bye so the other one that was mentioned is don't date men who are fathers honestly i think this just depends on the person um there are some women who are okay dating men with children but i just want to say guys please don't date men with children if you don't have a heart to be with a man with a child meaning if you don't have the heart if you don't have it in you to be a stepmother to love that child like it were your own to take care of it to nurture that baby then please don't marry or be with men who have children it's not fair how some of you guys are treating these kids as if you didn't know that they existed in the first place you get me is we are not dating men who make us explain to our friends that he looks much better in person because he takes horrible pictures guys this is a chat men this is a chat some of you guys have iphones but your pictures look like you're taking them in a microwave Bruh. guys like instagram filters are not the best filters to use on your pictures if your main source of editing pictures is with instagram filters babes stop this nonsense <laughs> i mean at the end of the day instagram is not real life and it's not important and some might say that you prefer dating men who don't have social media at all which is genuinely a chat so, the next one is we are not dating men who cannot communicate 
and can't be vocal about their feelings. This one is a genuine, genuine chat. I know that some men are raised in families where talking about your feelings is not a chat. But you know what, guys? This relates back to the accountability point I made. It's not enough to say that I wasn't raised this way, blah, blah, blah. Because as you grow up and you become your own man, you need to learn. You need to unlearn the toxic things you learned in your childhood and you need to learn positive habits. We need men who communicate. This thing of saying in Dodaikali a man doesn't cry is upsetting me in my home, girl. It doesn't apply. It's not true. Talk about your feelings. Women want for you to communicate. We want for you to listen to us and also not listen with your pride. Some men, when they listen to you, they're not listening to understand you. They're listening to respond and they let their pride get in the way of hearing what you're saying. It's safe. Gents, it's 2020. It's quarantine season. You have time to work on your communication. Learn how to communicate. But also women, I do have to say, I read something on Twitter where it says that women don't listen and women are not interested in hearing about your life i don't know how true that is i asked a few gents and apparently it's an actual chat that women are self-centered or they don't listen as you are asking for a man who communicates ladies also make sure that you are listening to them when they communicate so something that has popped up very commonly is uh, men who don't have a relationship with our master jesus christ men who aren't saved so there's a number of these popping up basically saying that guys who don't have a relationship with jesus or whatever and i i totally agree with this something that i always say personally is i want a man who loves god God more than he loves me. Hallelujah. I feel him down in my spirit. Because if he loves God and he truly loves God, then I know that he will love me and take care of me. Hallelujah. Thank God. This is the example I use with cheating too. I want a man who's not going to cheat on me, not only because he respects me and we have our vows and whatever, but because he fears God, a man who understands that, listen, if I cheat on this woman, God is looking at me and God is gonna punish me and doesn't want that kind of smoke with God. It's important to be in a relationship where you are equally yoked, where the person is gonna draw you nearer to God, you know? And when it comes to things like celibacy, I know that not every Christian person follow celibacy but for those of us who do it's so much better being with a man who is also on his own celibacy journey or understands why you're on that journey because he's not gonna pressure you to do things that you don't want to do now beyond just things like dating when you have children for those who do care i know that some people don't care but i for one do care i want to raise children with a man who believes in Jesus, a man who will stand up and say, as for me and my house, we serve the Lord. I am living for the Lord. I am living for the Lord. I am living for the Lord. But a question I wanna to pose to you guys is, are you guys open to dating someone who is of a different religion to you or who doesn't believe in anything at all? Comment down below. These two, these two, these two, these two are so important, are so vital. It says, we're not dating guys who don't know the difference between whose and whose. And we don't date guys who still say, am on my way or am good. Listen. Listen, I promise you, call me shallow, call me whatever. I, I will proper end a relationship because a gent says, I'm here, I'm good, I'm on my way. It grinds my intestines when people say that. Listen, just say I'm, like I, apostrophe M, I'm here, you know? Because it's the same two words that you're using anyway. So why do you insist on saying M, 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 M here, I'm going? Like, what, what's your, like, I promise we can't be together. We proper can't be together. If you come to me and you're like, I'm in love with you, I will blue tick you. Don't, don't try to. You with your forehead. And the other one, I don't really share the sentiment, but I understand though, um, who's and who's, okay? Who's, who is, who's, whose is this? I mean, this sentiment is not shared by everyone. I need you to, sp I don't know how to say this. Like, I just, I need someone who can speak decent English and by the way 
important to mention that the ability to speak English is not the same as being intelligent. Not being able to speak English is not the lack of intelligence. So as much as I'm saying, okay, I want a guy who can speak English or who doesn't say M, M, M and who knows the basic rules of grammar and punctuation, I also think it's important to say that the ability to speak English is not the same thing as being intelligent. So let's put that out there. The next one is we don't date guys who are broke. And I, oh. Listen, like I used to, I used to think of this thing and I was like, you know, what's wrong with dating broke guys? You know what I mean? Like money isn't everything, blah, blah, blah. Money doesn't define someone and money doesn't define someone and money isn't everything. But have you ever dated a broke boy when you're not broke, my boy? Not wanting to date broke boys is really, I thought it was shallow before, but it's really not shallow. Especially, especially though, if you can hold your own. Cause it's one thing when broke hands don't wanna date broke chains, even though you're broker than him or you're just as broke. But also there's nothing wrong with wanting better or more. But understand that if you want better or more in a gent, you need to want better or more for yourself. We are not dating guys who are not financially educated, who don't know anything about anything about money. People who don't know how to make rich dad, poor dad, make money work for you, make money stay. Every time you get money, you're going to the bar, you're getting drinks, you're going out with your friends. Oh, and then not only that, but you also end up having to borrow money for good times, for the good times, for the vibes, for the babies. Sorry, we're not dating guys like that this year. Financial literacy is like minimum, minimum required. So the sun is going away and I'm gonna end off this video by giving my own list. So the first thing that I said is we're not dating men who are not accountable. We're not dating men who say, I grew up this way, therefore I am this way. Absolutely not. We're not dating men who don't know how to apologize. We're not dating men who are not sensitive to our feelings. I can't do that and I won't do that. This one is so important to me that I really wanna highlight. You know there are those couples who are like, we've been through so much together, blah, blah, blah. And then when you find out what it is they've been through so much of, it means that basically he's been cheating multiple times and she's been taking him back multiple times. Absolutely not. Honestly, cheating is not a part of the ups and downs of a relationship. I refuse to accept that that's a standard I refuse to live by cheating is a choice cheating is a decision and that is not a decision that you have to stand by or that you have to support and the chat that we need to have is that cheating is abuse guys that is emotional abuse that you are putting someone in being with a chronic cheater can you imagine what it does to your self-esteem to your mental health to your physical health even some people literally get sick and apart from that there's also contracting diseases from cheating imagine your husband or your boyfriend coming back to you with an scd or hiv because they're sleeping with other people cheating is toxic cheating is abuse and cheating is a choice it is a choice that you don't have to stand by that you don't have to support and that you don't have to live with being in a relationship with a man who hits you is unacceptable it's not love it's not worth losing your life love is not worth losing your life even marriage is not worth losing your life you know you want to be in a marriage or in a relationship Relationship where he hits you until you die every time every time every time you're spending money on makeup because you have to keep covering up the bruises it's absolutely unacceptable if a man hits you he doesn't love you and he is a coward and you need to get out of there it's easier said than done I understand it's better to walk out of there alone than to leave in a body bag next point is I am NOT and will not be dating a man who tells me that my standards are too high because the reality is babes, if my standards are too high, then you're just not the one for me. It means that the standards are too high for you, therefore you don't meet the criteria, therefore move on. We're not gonna date men who tell us our standards are too high. We are looking for men who are gonna meet and beat the standard, not tell you that what you're asking for is too much. If it's too much, it's not that I'm too much, it's just that it's too much for you because it's just not it's just not who you are, it's not your level, and it's fine. Move on, go to someone with a standard that matches you. And something else as well, we're not dating men who do bare minimum and disguise it as their best. Comment down below if you guys have ever been in a relationship with someone who honestly does. You know some people want to be congratulated for talking to you every day. Like they really want you to clap for them because they're talking to you. As if that, that is bare minimum. That is literally bare minimum. You know those guys, we've seen them who say they're babysitting their kids. Babes. Bruv, you don't babysit your kid, you parent it. It's yours, it belongs to you, it's your responsibility. It's not just the woman's role to be taking care of a kid. It's yours, okay? 
you. The next point is, I refuse to date a man who's not a man of his word. I take your word very seriously. And if you tell me that you're gonna do this thing, I expect for you to do it. Especially if it's not something that I asked you to do, that you out of the dust decided that you're gonna do, I will hold you by your word and I expect you to do it. The Bible says it's rather not to vow than to vow and not redeem your vow. A man who doesn't want you knowing where he is, when you ask him where he is, he gets defensive and he's like, I'm a man, it's my business, no ways. Toxic masculinity men, no ways. Men who disrespect their mothers, no ways. Men who disrespect women, no ways. Men who make excuses for rapists, no ways. Men who think that it's it's women's fault if they get raped or they're wearing something too short or blah, 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 no ways. Those are absolute red flags that we are not gonna be entertaining because that revolution will not happen between these guys. Yo, guys, before I go, do not, yo, if you wanna be unhappy, date a stingy man. A man who is stingy, who's not giving, who is selfish, no ways. You're gonna live a very unhappy life. Never marry a man who is stingy with you as his partner, as his wife. In fact, in general, don't marry stingy people, but someone who doesn't have it in their heart to take care of you, to provide for you. Personally, that's not a man I'm trying to be with. I have no business being with someone who has no goals, no ambitions, who doesn't dream big. I have big dreams. I can't be with someone who talks down on my dreams. Like one day, I will have a Bugatti, guys. It's gonna happen. I'm speaking it into existence. You guys hear me refer back to this video years ahead when I finally have the car. But I can't be with someone who, when I say stuff like that, they're like, ha ha, that's funny, or, you know, that'll never happen, or you're dreaming too big. There's no such thing as dreaming too big. Someone who undermines your goals, your dreams, who themselves don't have goals and dreams and ambitions, sorry, babes, we can't be together. If there's anything that I left out, types of guys that we're not dating this year, comment down below. I am gonna hit us with one for the girls because the guys also answered. So next week, we're gonna have one from the guys. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Road to 3K. Peace and love, guys.